In today's episode, let's check out incenses from Isha Life Sadhguru's Ashram. Namaste everyone and welcome to Om Incense Show with DJ, a show that helps you increase your incense quotient. So if you are an incense enthusiast, consider subscribing. And before we go ahead, a very, very happy Mahashivratri to all of us. Try to do your sadhanas today. Try to wake up the night and just chant whatever mantras you have. It's going to have an immense benefit. Okay, so I had shown you in the, uh, you know, unboxing episode where I had shown you 13 incenses. So as I told you that I'll be doing a blanket review of it. So I'm going to show you all the incenses that I have here with me. And then I'll be doing a live demo of uh, one of those. So let's see that. I have a special announcement for Salshi Ji. You know, if you're listening to this uh, right now, if you're watching this video, please drop me a mail with the Balaji incense links. You know, I've tried replying to your comments and every time I've asked you to drop me a mail with the links because I have not been able to find the incenses online. I did go to Balaji incense but I could not really make out which incense you want me to review so just you know uh, find my mail id it's dollyjha9810 at gmail.com so d-o-l-l-y-j-h-a-9810 at gmail.com please drop me a mail with the Balaji incense links and it'll be very helpful you know I've tried looking for it and, and I have not been able to find so just do that and I'll be able to review your incense here we have sandalwood musk eucalyptus night queen sage nag champa amber Vibhuti, Vativa, Camphor, Jasmine, Lotus and Benzoin. So uh, I want to check out Vibhuti. I want to see what kind of uh, fragrance they've given to Vibhuti because Vibhuti as we all know is the uh, you know is the ash is the holy ash of the havan the fire ritual that is done in the ashram so i really want to check out the fragrance that they have given to vibhuti so we'll check out vibhuti but before we go ahead i just like to show you the packaging it's a very simple packet you know it's this in packets are all like these very simple brown packet so it's all and you know they ha they are all plastic free so this is a uh, paper as you see brown paper inside what we have is butter paper so i'll just show so this is what we have inside this uh butter paper and this is the top thing brown paper so this is what we have the logo if you see is quite nice and simple looks quite good you know the colors are different for you know different fragrances and it's like this so there are two types of uh, uh, you know there are two types of labels that we see here one is the colored one and one is the brown one the brown one uh, is the same thing it's ha it has isha life written on it which is a registered thing and it says organic incense and then we have amber and there is a little design there this one we have it says isha life indian experience incense okay so this is organic incense and this is indian experience incense so we have two of these and if you see the uh, the logos are different sorry the the labeling is different so if you see this this is the organic one and this is the indian experience one so this is what we have and it says hand roll incense sticks pack of 10 handmade from all natural ingredients no artificial fragrances added does not contain animal produce or derivatives and it says ishalife.com craft.order then made in India and they have a barcode. The MRP is 35. So we have 35 rupees for 10 incenses marketed by Isha Life. And then we have the caution. So this is what it's like. Okay. 
and in this what we have is Indian experience incense Nag Champa so like this is Nag Champa and it says hand rolled incense sticks pack of 10 handmade from all natural ingredients no artificial fragrances added does not contain animal produce products or derivatives derivatives and then we have the same thing you know uh, ishalive.com the barcode the address and the caution and we have a uh, the price is 35 rupees so even this is like that if you see that so we have these two that's you know that's for the labeling for the packaging the very simple very minimalistic packaging and i did try whatever and uh, camphor because i really wanted to try camphor that's how i stumbled upon this so i wanted to try camphor so i tried camphor and what i noticed is like the orbindo ashram incenses like the orbindo ashram incenses have a base fragrance which is common to all their incenses across the variants it's only the different fragrance that you you know the the top note of the fragrance the top and the middle note that you get is different but the base in all of the incenses is the same so even in the nag champa incense the base is same like in all of the other incenses so is the same case with this also though i've never tried the i haven't yet tried the organic ones i've only tried the incense from you know indian experience ones so they seem to have a common base and uh, i don't know they say that it's hand rolled but doesn't seem like because the the you know it the manufacturing of it the incense seems quite clean and it's like very sleek I don't know, doesn't seem like handmade. This is the Vibhuti one that I have here. The top note is that of jasmine oil, the low quality one, <laughs> hiding in like this. Hmm. I don't want to try this. Let's try the Vitiva one because I really like the Vitiva. So, or Let's try Nag Champa. Let's see what the Isha Life Nag Champa is like. So it's an average sized regular incense. It has a yellow, ba you know, bamboo core to it, and which is quite thick and sturdy and nice and rounded and smooth. And it's the regular sized incense. If you see, it's the nine inch incense that we have. And they say it's hand rolled, but it doesn't look like because it's too clean for a hand rolled incense i'm not sure because you know if you are somebody from isha and if you're watching this just let me know and if you exactly know of the kind of incenses that are made there just let us know what the incense uh, whether it's this is hand rolled or this is machine made because to me this looks like machine made it looks too clean and chiseled for a you know handmade look so that's there that's just my observation i might be wrong Okay, so the Nag Champa, if you see, is the usual brown color that, you know, like all of the other incenses. But this seems to have a little masala on top. There's hardly any top note to this. Very, very, very faint wooden fragrance that is there. That's the top note. Now, let's light up the incense and check out the diffusion of it. The retention of it is good but not very good as in it doesn't stay for long which to me is a good thing because I don't like uh, uh, you know I, I don't like uh, I like to get a neutral you know aroma in my house after some time so that way and to me it does get not neutral because you know once you are in a place for some time where you've already lit an incense uh, it does get neutral to you because then you have an olfactory fatigue and then it gets normal for you it gets neutral so so that's there the diffusion is not very good i would say but uh, you know th that's what happens with most natural incenses if you see the orbindo ashram incense cones do not have a very good diffusion which means they do not spread to a large area so if i'm you know if i lit up this incense where i'm praying i would probably get the incense fragrance only in that spot or probably just in that room in a little you know uh, distance from me that's all i can get probably if somebody enters the house from somewhere else they'll be able to get that fragrance but the fragrance is not such that people in you know outside of your house would come and inquire about it so it's not 
the diffusion isn't very strong it's not large so that's how this is now let's light up the incense and check out the fragrance of it let's see what the fragrance is like when it comes to life because the top note is quite minimal there's hardly any fragrance to this that's bad practice by the way the top note of the burnt wood <laughs> which i saw which i like so much so the fragrance is floral but i can't really say that it's like nag champa i don't know because it's quite mild the fragrance is quite mild if you like really nice mild fragrance which takes time to grow you would like this and like i told you that they have a base fragrance in all of the incenses the base fragrance is here also but and you have that mild floral fragrance so you get you know if you've used this incense for quite some time if you've used any of these incenses or you know uh, two or three of these incenses you would notice that the base fragrance in all of these is the same there is a little nuanced tone to it uh, a little you could say a heart tone to it the mid tone which is like in this case this is floral in the case of vetiver it's like nice vetiver i like that vetiver fragrance it was like it was like you are smelling you know uh, dried vetiver root directly it's that you know uh, true to life it's that kind of fragrance camphor i would say was not not very prominently camphor i mean if you, if it's lit up somewhere you would not clearly say that you know this is a camphor incense you would not be able to uh, pinpoint that very clearly but so here what we get is that nice sweet floral which doesn't seem uh, quite nag champa ish like uh, say golok or uh, any other nag champa if you've experienced it's not like satya sai either i said golo because that's the nag champa that i like the most and i am trying to judge this uh, you know with the fragrance that i have there but if you like nice mild sweetish kind of floral fragrance not very sweet and these are the fragrances i've noticed in all of these incenses they are not overpowering they're very mild they take time to grow like they you know you light them up somewhere you do your own puja your jap and you know this is just going on very silently sitting there with you and not trying to escape to a large area <laughs> it's just there with you and just accompanying you in your prayers in you so if you are sitting there only you would get the fragrance and uh, probably somebody if somebody is there in your room he or she would get this but this is not going to spread to a large area so uh, if you like that kind of fragrance you would like this and because i like mild fragrances and i don't like something that sticks uh, uh, you know around for quite some time i like this fragrance and for that i'll be giving this a 3 star so i give isha life nag champa 3 star for that matter i give 3 stars to all of these incenses as i told you and uh, so that's all so that's all for today's episode if you learned something from it and if you think somebody else can learn something from it too share it with them if you liked it give it a like let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and and till we meet again next take very good care of yourself namaste